How's it going everybody? This is going to be a rant video talking about Resident Evil 8. Okay, first off, I love Lady Dimitrescu's design. It's a very cool, kind of different design. But here's the thing. I got done watching a playthrough of it, and I was actually pretty disappointed. Because the entire demo and the entire, the way that Capcom was promoting it, they were making it sound like she was going to be the main villain of the entire game. They screwed it up. It pisses me off, excuse my language, but for almost 25 years, literally, they've given the female characters... Or the female villains, kind of the short end of the stick. Where they gave the men, like William Birkin and Mr. X and Wesker and Tyrant and all these other guys. They give them different forms and they give them much more screen time. But the first time that they do it for her, they just cheap change her, literally. That pissed me off so much because this was one of the coolest female villains I've ever seen on screen. She had a different kind of facade going on. The way that they were putting it in the the little letters that you can read in the game. They are making her sound like she had flaws. They were making it sound like she had different... They basically humanized her almost. And then they just basically threw it away because barely... A quarter through the game, you basically kill her off in one of the most anticlimactic boss fights I've ever seen in my life. I was really excited for this game, but after seeing that, I was really disappointed. Because the way that they cheap changed this lady just really pissed me off. It did not run me the right way. What I was hoping was that they were going to give her more screen time, where she was going to be the actual main antagonist of the game, and you were going to end up having to fight her as she transformed into different forms. Spoiler alert, there was a knife in the game, I don't remember the name of it, that has poisons in it, and you stab her with it, and she turns into this giant dragon-like creature. It's Resident Evil. I knew it was coming. But the way that they built up to it, it was just really dumb. Especially when it wasn't even an hour or two into the game. Now don't get me wrong, Resident Evil 8 had some really good moments, such as the whole mansion with the giant baby thing. That was actually really creepy. As well as some of the best set pieces of all time for a Resident Evil game. The way that they had the castle. And it was the different... The, getting to explore the village and all that was really cool. But the way that they cheap changed her as a villain just really ticked me off. Think about it like this. Go back 20 years ago, or 21 years ago, back to when Code Veronica first came out. And how everybody was pushing the whole Alexia Ashford being one of the better villains of the series at that point. They gave her more screen time than they did Alcina, literally. It's one of those things where if you're going to make or put so much hype around a character, don't kill him off in the first hour, okay? I just really was hoping that they were going to finally make a female villain that was actually very memorable. Don't get me wrong, she is really fun in terms of the memes that are going around and all the the mods and all that stuff. They're a lot of fun. But the way that they just made the game, it's a really good game, but at the same time, it's kind of a letdown. Um... It was one of those things where I was really looking forward to it. Because 
this would have been the first female villain in literally almost 21 years, if not 22. And they just cheap changed her. I mean, the whole retractable claws that she has to the brash English voice that she's got. It was just really cool. And it had me excited for a, almost the entire segment where you basically encounter her to the point of fighting her and putting her down. But after that, after you watch her literally crumble to pieces, you sit there and you realize, wow, they just screwed what could have been the best game of the year, literally, in a mere hour and a half. I'm not saying I hate Resident Evil 8, but I am very disappointed with it. Because I was really excited to see a female villain for the first time in literally almost 20 years. And they just cheap changed her. Anyways, I know this is a, coming off as a... Sounds like I'm just rambling on. But at the same time, I'm sure a lot of other people feel the way I do about it. They just, it didn't set with them the right way or sit with them the right way. But don't attack me in the comments section for my opinion. I just, I was really excited and this was one of the biggest letdowns. And unless they release some DLC or whatever that give her more screen time, this is actually going to be my biggest disappointment of 2021, most likely. Because I was really excited about this game. But anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble on. And I hope you have a good one.